uh, right now it's a big talk in our political sector of our country about uh, extending our debt cap. Basically, our government want to extend their debt. It's uh, pretty crazy if you ask me, because who would want their child or their loved one or even a best friend that they know and they care about to want to be more in debt, want to extend their debt instead of to resolve and um, to be free of debt. Our country want to extend their debt because they know they need the more they need more money and they know they're gonna need to be more in debt to do to bring out this big fiasco that they need to bring out. But it's also part of the manipulation too that, that caused this debt. And the manipulation is towards us tax paying citizens of this country. Um for example, uh most of our uh, our politicians, our representatives within the political sector of our country, that's uh, actually probably one of the, that's actually the vanguards of the United Nation. <coughs> um, and then the head of the Council of Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission, uh, Henry Kissinger being one of them, and um, I think, I believe, Dr. Z. Brzezinski in the Trilateral Commission. They're both are Jews. Henry Kissinger is definitely a Jew, and um, what what us tax paying Americans don't know, you know, is that don't matter what person's running for president elect this following year, um, don't matter who's running, they're not gonna take the troops out because the people that's running the show. The majority of the people running the show are Zionists or Jews that want a complete world order. And in order to bring about, that's why they have these secret organizations like the Trilateral Commission and the Council of Foreign Relations is to bring out that complete world order. And uh, in order for them to do this, they bring a lot of money into the Jewish state, their Jewish country. So, uh, my earlier posts, you may recall the U.S. population growth and spread. Uh, it's one of my earlier pro posts on YouTube. <clears throat> it states how there's only 1.2% white Americans uh, of population growth and spread. That's the 1.2%. That's their population growth and spread in America. And you look in the political sector and you see mostly, you know, white uh, representatives. So... Uh, the eleven percent of blacks and the forty-three or forty-two percent of Hispanics and um, Asians, Americans, are being misrepresented. Uh, are being misrepresented within their own country, okay? Because you don't really see any Asian Americans in the political sector. Uh, you don't really see Hispanic Americans. You only see about a fistful of blacks. Um, but you see, you know, a huge amount of whites and, um, a lot of them are Jews to be even, um, even more honest. Um, and they form these organizations like the Trilateral Commission, the Council of Foreign Relations. Um, you got to understand that, and this is from a book called The Israel Lobby and U.S. Foreign Policy. That 140 billion in 2003. That's how much dollars of our tax paying us tax paying citizens, you know, our money went in 2003. 140 billion went to Israel, and Israel receives three billion in direct foreign assistance each year. Three billion each year in their foreign assistance for foreign assistance from us, America. Taxpayers. This is what we. Our money's going towards other countries. That's why we're so broke. Billions of dollars going towards another country, because the people in power are Jews, and it's going to a, Jew, a Jewish state. Okay, um, so we're being misrepresented. We're being hoodwinked, shanghaied. You know everything. You know we're blind. We're 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 walking blind blindly into oblivion. Um, and the Democrats, 
should nobody be voting Democrat. You know, the because you know Obama talking about taxing the millionaires and billionaires. I'm telling you, most of these people in Tea Party don't pay taxes. You know, they just they just want their country back. You know, they don't pay taxes. Oprah don't pay taxes. She gives out cars and houses at the end of the year so she can write it off. It's it's loopholes for billionaires and millionaires because they know if you become a billionaire and millionaire and you get taxed, it's gonna eat up all your money. You just, so it's it's it's, it's, it's a way that these billionaires and millionaires stay billionaires and millionaires because there's loopholes to keep them staying millionaires and billionaires, like starting a nonprofit organization and helping out people. But they're not helping out the poorest of the poor. The poorest of the poor can't drive cars. They can't live in the houses, you know. They can't pay for the water, heat, and electricity, you know. But, um, you know, this is what they give. They give you, like, expensive stuff. And because power is in numbers and not in money, that's, that's how they look at it. Like, if I could give you a car or a house, you'll come back next year. You'll spend even more money next year because you'll, you'll feel like you might get something else. So now I'm making money on top of my money. I get I, not only was it a write off. Oprah's very smart, and a lot of people, a lot of millionaires and billionaires are. That's why they don't really care about Obama being in office because they're not paying anything. Nothing's coming out of their pockets. Okay, casino owners and 